What's up guys, I'm Chirag and welcome to part 21 of the tutorial series on Amazon API Gateway tutorial. In this tutorial, I will take you through on how to integrate SQS that is simple queue service with API Gateway. So basically we will cover how to send messages to the SQS queue using API Gateway. So throughout this tutorial, we are going to follow this steps. So we will start with the creation of the SQS queue followed by the creation of the IAM policy and role. So this second step will allow API gateway to send the message to the SQS queue. So basically it will give permission to API gateway to send the message. And then uh, as a third step, we will create the resource within the existing API followed by the creation and configuration of the method and finally we will uh, deploy the api gateway and we will test it using postman so let's get started so as a first step we are going to create sqs queue so navigate to aws management console and then navigate to sqs management console now once we are within sqs management console click on create new queue from the top left corner so here uh, we have to give the queue name so i will say API gateway SQS and then select the standard queue and once you are done with that click on quick create queue now once the queue is created we will have some details uh, at the bottom so here we have name URL ARN and whatnot along with the message available and message in flight mode so right now everything is zero because we don't have any messages within this SQS queue. Now as a next step, uh, if we look over here, we are going to create IAM policy. So navigate to IAM management console. Now once you're within IAM management console, click on policies from the left panel. So here we are going to manually create the policy because I think we don't have the uh, predefined or the AWS managed policy for that. So once you are within policies, click on create policy. Now here uh, you can use visual editor or you can use JSON. So I'll, I will go with JSON. Now here I have this policy. So I'm going to copy and paste this. So I will say select and paste it over here. So basically this policy will give permission to API gateway to send messages to SQS queue. So what all things we have here is we have a statement uh, within that we have statement ID and then we have action what action uh, we want to allow that is send message and then we have effect. So this can be allow or deny correct. So you want to allow API gateway to send message to SQS. And then uh, we are going to define the resource to which resource we are giving this access for, right? So here uh, we have to copy and paste the ARN of the SQS queue that we have just created. So navigate to SQS management console once again. Select the queue that we have just created and copy the ARN of that queue and navigate back to IAM management console and replace this ARN with the ARN of the SQS. So I think uh, that's it for the policy. So once you are done with this changes, click on review policy and then give it a name. I will say SQS underscore API gateway and say create policy. Now once the policy is created, click on roles from the left panel and say create role. Now here within AWS service, we are going to select API gateway because we are creating this role for the API gateway. So select that, then click on permission. And I think we have this default policy. So we will go with that. Say next, give it tags if you want. Say next review, give it a role name. I will say SQS underscore API gateway underscore role and once you're done with that click on create role now once the role is created uh, open that role again that's uh, sqs api gateway role in my case and once you are here say attach policy 
and search for the policy that we have just created that is sqs underscore api gateway so select that and say attach policy Now, once we are done with this uh, IAM role, uh, we are done with the second step. Now we can go ahead and create the resource within API Gateway. So navigate to API Gateway. Now here I am not going to create a new API Gateway. So I am going to use the existing one. So if you want, you can create a new API or you can also go for the existing API and go ahead and create the resource within that API. Correct. So here I'm going to use API endpoint. So I will select that. Now, once you are within that API, click on actions or maybe uh, click on resources from the left panel and then click on actions and say create resource. Now here, give it a resource name. I will say SQS and I will say create resource. Now, once the resource is created, we are going to create the method within that resource. So select that resource and then click on action and say create method. So here we are going to select post method because we are going to pass some payload or we are going to post some uh, payload or the message uh, to the SQS, right? So that's the reason post. And once you select that, click on this tick mark. Now here uh, we have to choose the integration point. So here we will go with the AWS service as an integration type. And then uh, we have an option to select AWS region. So in my case, it's going to be US East one. And then we have AWS service. So this is going to be SQS. That is simple queue service. We will leave AWS subdomain as it is. And then we have HTTP method. So this is going to be post because we are posting or passing the payload, correct? And then uh, we have action type. So we will go with the use path override. So here uh, we need to copy and paste the uh, account ID followed by the SQS name or the queue name that we have just created. So you can simply go back to SQS management console and within URL copy this thing that is this number followed by the SQS name and paste it over here. So why we are doing this? So if we look at the URL structure uh, of the SQS, then we have the standard URL that is sqs.uss1.amazonaws.com, which will be followed by the account ID followed by the queue name. So here from path override, we will get that thing followed by uh, this action that is equal to send message and the message body uh, or the payload that we want to pass, right? So we will come to this part in a moment. So let's continue here. Now here within execution role, we have to copy and paste the ARN of the So now here within execution role, we have to copy and paste the ARN of the IAM role that we have just created. So copy this and paste it over here. Within content handling, we will say pass through. We will use default timeout as it is. And once you are done with this configuration, click on save. Now, once this configuration is saved, click on integration request. Now here we are going to configure HTTP headers. So click on that, say add header, add content type, content hyphen type, followed by the map from that is B, that is going to be single quote application for slash X hyphen www hyphen form hyphen URL encoded followed by the single code. Now, once you're done with this, click on this tick mark to save this. Now we will move on to the mapping templates. So here within mapping template, select never. Now add mapping template. I will say application 
slash json and then click on this tick mark now within uh, generate template window we will say action equal to what action we want to perform that is going to be send message send message what we want to send that's going to be message body message body equal to dollar sign input dot body and once you are done with this click on save so if you remember then this part belongs to this one that is action equal to send message and person message body equal to payload correct so that's what uh, we are doing uh, so that's what we are trying to achieve using uh, mapping templates right so basically mapping templates will transform the request payload to the one accepted by the sqs correct now once you are done with this configuration i think we are all done with all the configuration and now we can click on test and try to send a payload. So I will say some data colon data and I will say test. If everything is configured uh, correctly, then we will receive status code 200 and we have this response over here. Now we can also cross verify this uh, by navigating to the SQS management console. So right now, if you look over here, uh, within message available its value is zero now if i go ahead and reload this it will change to one right because we had passed some message or payload to this sqs queue right so now as you can see we have the value as one now uh, we will go ahead and deploy this api so click on action say deploy api select the deployment stage i will say version one and i will say deploy Now we can go ahead and copy this invocation URL and navigate to Postman. Paste it over here followed by the resource name that's going to be SQS in my case. The method is going to be post. Within headers we will say content type as application slash JSON. And within body we will pass on the payload. So I will say raw. I'll say data colon some data correct and we will say send so as you can see uh, we have received status code 200 and if we go ahead and have a look at the SQS management console and if we reload this then message available should be 2 right and that's what uh, we have here so uh, apart from that, we can also configure uh, this payload uh, via query string parameter instead of passing it via body, right? So for that, uh, we need to configure a few things uh, for passing the message or the payload within the query string parameter instead of the body. So maybe uh, if you want me to cover that, let me know in the comments. Else uh, that's all I have for this tutorial. And till that time, if you want me to do tutorial on any use case or service, then please leave them below and I will try my best to come up with the tutorial as soon as possible. And if you have any queries or comments, then again, please leave them below and don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and see you next.